Hi, welcome to the EFR32 video training series from Silicon Labs. This video tutorial is the introduction to the new EFR32 hardware development tools. The new EFR32 product family is supported on the wireless starter kit or WSTK. This is a common motherboard platform for all upcoming radio products, currently for the EFR32 and EZR32 products. There are several chip variants available within the EFR32 family, such as the Blue Gecko for Bluetooth, Mighty Gecko for mesh networking, and Flex Gecko for proprietary wireless applications. Each of these families has at least one radio board. A radio board is an easy copy and paste reference design that has all the necessary components around the EFR32. They are available for multiple output power levels 10.5 dBm, 13 dBm, and 19.5 dBm. Both a PCB antenna and a U.FL cable connector have been integrated to support immediate range testing and RF lab measurements. To start evaluation and product development, you need a single kit. The kit contains the WSTK motherboards, the radio boards, and everything else such as USB cables, batteries, battery holders, and links to the software and documentation support sites. The WSTK kit is supported by Silicon Labs Simplicity Studio, where you can download documentation, software stacks, create and develop software code, generate a complete radio configuration, or perform lab measurements. Now, let's take a closer look at the hardware platform. The WSTK is a complete development and debug environment, and it includes all interfaces needed for software development and radio evaluation. It has a modular design where customers can reuse blocks in their end products. The platform consists of a motherboard and a radio module. The motherboard is a comprehensive baseboard with multiple interfaces such as USB and Ethernet. It can be powered either from batteries or via USB. The motherboard features a 128 by 128 pixel memory LCD, some buttons and LEDs for indication and alerts. The board has a built-in humidity and temperature sensor for sensor applications. The expansion header can be used for daughter cards or for external AA batteries to run range tests at higher output power levels. It also supports packet trace, jailing debugger, and advanced energy monitoring for real-time current and voltage tracking. The radio board contains all the external components for the EFR32. Radio pins are accessible through the pin header on the motherboard. All debug functionality, including advanced energy monitoring, virtual COM port, and packet trace interface can be used towards an external target instead of the included radio board. This means that you can connect your customized EFR32 prototype to the WSTK and still enjoy all the benefits of having Simplicity Studio support. The WSTK works seamlessly with Simplicity Studio where you can find everything in one place. The Simplicity IDE for code development, the Energy Profiler for current monitoring, the Application Builder to create customized code for all sorts of lab measurements, or the radio configurator to create a complete radio configuration. All documentation, including design files, are available from within Studio. For evaluation and lab measurements, the rail test application code is available. The rail, or radio abstraction interface layer test application, is a lab software that supports continuous wave, PN9, bit error rate, and packet error rate measurements. To perform range tests, the rail test application can be customized based on the desired RF parameters. The WSTK platform is also used to create and debug code, run the rail API, or build mesh networking applications. Getting started with the EFR32 development tool is easy. Go to our website, download and install Simplicity Studio, and add wireless products EFR32 package using the add and remove packages icon. Next step is setting up the hardware. 
you just need to insert the radio board, put the power source selector switch in AEM position and connect the board via a USB cable. The WSTK kit should show up as a detected hardware component in Studio. To proceed and explore all sorts of features, click on Kit Documentation icon and follow the instructions in the Quick Start Guide associated with your WSTK kit. There are three types of kits available for the three product families. The Blue Gecko for Bluetooth applications comes with a single node. The Flex Gecko kit contains two nodes and is great for proprietary wireless applications. Getting a single kit will enable you setting up a TXRX link. The Mighty Gecko kits include three nodes so you can start building your mesh network application. All documentation is available both in Simplicity Studio and on our website at www.scilabs.com. The documentation includes a number of application notes for antenna and layout design, for the real software stack, software examples, as well as data sheets and reference manuals. If you have any questions, you can go to the Silicon Labs community at community.scilabs.com. This is a public forum for product discussion where you can get support from other people using Silicon Labs products. Also, there are plenty of knowledge base articles and video tutorials. If you do not find the answer to your problem, you can still go to our technical support portal at www.scilabs.com support and one of our factory apps members will get back to you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.